Hello people, in this video we want to look at the complication of sinusitis. Just the complications of what? Of sinusitis. So you know what the sinus are and uh, you can see how there is sinusitis. That is inflammation of sinuses. So inflammation of the mucosa of the sinuses is sinusitis. Okay guys, inflammation, inflammation of the mucosa of the sinuses, sinuses is uh, sinusitis. But nowadays it's anyways invariably associated with the inflammation of uh, the nasal mucosa. So it has been, the better term is rhinosinusitis. Okay, rhinosinusitis, sinusitis. So here uh, both the nasal mucosa and uh, uh, mucosa of the sinuses will be inflamed, right? So basically this image is depicting rhinosinusitis. So, you know that there are so many types of sinuses, right? So, here you can see frontal sinus. This is the maxillary sinus. The This one is the sphenoid sinus and this is the ethmoid sinus, okay? So, look at this. The sphenoid sinus is here, okay? Here is the frontal sinus, maxillary sinus and these are the ethmoid air sinus. So, in this video, we want to focus on the complications of sinusitis, right? So, what and all can it affect? Locally, there can be some problems. Locally, there can be mucosal, mucopiocele, that is with pus, with mucus, right? That is local complication. Then you can have mucus retention cyst, a cyst, osteomyelitis. So, under this, there are two types, frontal bone and maxilla. So, where is the frontal bone and where is the maxilla? Right? So basically, so all these bones will undergo what? Osteomyelitis. So what exactly is osteomyelitis? It's infection of bone marrow. Okay? Right? So even the, these are all local. Okay? Then let's move on to orbital complications. Orbital complications means something to do with the eye. So the eye, what and all, will be the problem with the eye. Preceptal inflammatory Edema of lips. So before the septum, so you have the orbital septum, right? So if this is the person's nose and this is his mouth and all this. So here you have the orbit, right? So here there is a septum, right? The orbital septum. Here you have the eyeball. So basically before this septum, if there is inflammation, so they're saying preceptal inflammation, edema of lids, okay? Sub Subperiosteal abscess, so in the bone, Subperiosteal abscess, orbital cellulitis. So now they are coming to the orbit, the orbital cellulitis, orbital abscess, orbital abscess, superior orbital fissure syndrome. There is a syndrome, there is a uh, superior orbital fissure here. So they are calling something as a superior orbital fissure syndrome, orbital apex syndrome. So there are so many things that you need to know here. So there are a lot of orbital complications. This itself can come as a separate question for, for you, okay, orbital complications. Now let us move on to the intracranial complications. Before that, just look at the high level things that we will look at. Local complications, orbital complications, intracranial complications, descending infections and focal infections. Okay. So this is what we will look at. So what are the uh, things we will look at? What are the complications we will look at? We will look at local infections, orbital infections, intracranial Descending infections and focal infections. So, let us just look at the headings which come under intracranial complications. So, now it has reached the cranium, right? So, let us see how it will affect. So, it can cause meningitis, extra dural abscess, subdural abscess, brain abscess, cavernous sinus, thrombosis. So, let us try to understand these very high level. So, Meningitis, they have uh, indicated with uh, an arrow towards the meninges. They have just pointed to the meninges, right? So, before the dura, you will have the extra dural abscess, right? And after the dura, you will have the subdural abscess. So, that's what they have shown here. So, extra dural, subdural, meningitis, they have shown here. Then, brain abscess, what else they want to talk about? Cavernous sinus thrombosis. Okay, we will come to that. Cavernous sinus thrombosis. So, here you can see the cavernous sinus. So, cavernous sinus thrombosis also is one of the intracranial complications, right? So, guys, just mention the names, high level, local complications, mucosal, mucopiocel, mucus retention cyst, osteomyelitis of the bones. That is the inflammation of the bone marrow, right? 
orbital complications you have preseptal inflammation or edema of lids preseptal inflammatory edema of lids peri subperiosteal abscess orbital cellulitis orbital abscess superior orbital fissure syndrome orbital apex syndrome intracranial meningitis extradural subdural abscess brain abscess cavernous sinus thrombosis descending infections and focal infections so basically what happens in uh, descending infections because the secretions can uh, flow into the pharynx okay the secretions can flow into the pharynx so what and what and all can happen pharyngitis tonsillitis and uh, via the eustachian tube let's say even the otitis media right ear infection middle ear infection persistent laryngitis so everything here larynx also they're saying laryngitis tracheobronchitis right so what and all they're saying tonsillitis pharyngitis laryngitis tracheobronchitis otitis media so many things focal infections they are not sure about this but they are saying there can be some focal infections like uh, polyarthritis tenosynovitis fibrositis and some certain skin disease also also can happen let's look at some images here available from the textbook um, so here we already saw this intracranial complications they have shown here very good what is this one here they are trying to show mucosal so this is local right mucosal in the left frontoethmoid region so here they are showing in the frontoethmoid region they are showing a mucosal so in this next diagram here they are showing mucosal of frontal sinus note swelling above the medial canthus of left eye so if you see something like this what does it mean it could mean that sinusitis right look at this diagram here now osteomyelitis that is infection of bone marrow of the maxilla so there's also a fistula okay in infraorbital region obviously it is infraorbital region so what is this osteomyelitis of the maxilla so let's move on then what is this one now case of chronic frontal sinusitis presenting with a fistula exuding pus in the floor of the sinus so again we are talking about the frontal sinus so there is a frontal sinusitis so it's a chronic frontal sinusitis presenting with a fistula which is exuding pus in the floor of the sinus okay any other diagrams here okay there's a diagram here orbital complications of sinusitis normal subperiosteal abscess and orbital abscess let's look at this so some things that we can understand here is this is the optic nerve so this is the eyeball right so here they are showing a green line and what are they calling it as lamina papyracea orbital periosteum also they have marked around the same place so when they want to show subperiosteal abscess below the periosteum there should be abscess so here below the periosteum they are showing abscess orbital abscess is here within the orbit so the pus is shown in yellow here so the content of the abscess you can see is shown in yellow so this is subperiosteal abscess and this is going to be orbital abscess okay very good so we have tried to understand the complications of sinusitis in this um, video very brief so what are the complications local complications could be mucosal mucopiocel mucus retention cyst osteomyelitis that is infection of bone marrow it can affect frontal bone or maxilla bone depending on the sinus which is affected orbital complications try to tell them uh, preseptal inflammatory edema of lids subperiosteal abscess orbital cellulitis orbital abscess superior orbital fissure syndrome and last one is orbital apex syndrome then we have the intracranial complications that we saw here are the uh, extradural abscess subdural abscess meningitis brain abscess and cavernous sinus thrombosis and then you have the last uh, they said descending infections like pharyngitis tonsillitis laryngitis tracheobronchitis otitis media then focal infections they said certain uh, skin disorders can be there 
So focal infections, they're talking about, they're not sure of this, but it can happen that there can be polyarthritis, tenosynovitis, fibrositis, certain skin diseases also, okay. So this is all about the complications of sinusitis. They are very brief. We'll have to go into the details of each of these. So that's all for now in this video. Bye-bye. Guys, there is specifically a terminology for you to know here in complications of uh, sinusitis, right? Um, basically, here there is a term called as POTS puffy tumor. This one, POTS puffy tumor. Okay, it is complication of sinusitis. So basically, look at this one here. So in complications of sinusitis, as a local complication, there can be osteomyelitis, that is dysitis is any inflammation. So here there is infection of bone marrow. If it is of the fro uh, frontal bone, there is a terminology called as POTS puffy tumor. Just remember that this is not any, uh, it's just pus, okay, it's nothing else. So if you can understand in this diagram, okay, where is the bone? Bone is pretty clear for you, right? This thing is the bone. So this is the bone. Right? Over the bone you have a fine layer that is periosteum. Right? So beneath this periosteum if there is pus formation because of the sinusitis. Right? So you can see the periosteum here. See this? This is the periosteum separated from the bone now. This is the bone. And between these two you can see the yellow. Right? That's the pus and that is nothing but the pot's puffy tumor. So pot's puffy tumor is what? It's nothing but pus, pus, pee, 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 pus, pus. It is nothing cancerous and all that. Okay? It's just pus. Okay? So, the person will arrive with a nice swelling here. Like this. Okay? That's pot's puffy tumor. If it is uh, beneath the periosteum, it is pot's puffy tumor. If it is behind the bone, what is it? It is extra dural abscess. If it is after the dura, it is subdural abscess. Inflammation of the meninges, so it will become meningitis and then much deep inside, they are talking about brain abscess. And also there can be cavernous sinus thrombosis. Okay. So those will become the intracranial complications. But basically here, local complication itself is, they are saying is POTS puffy tumor. So here there seem to be nice images of POTS puffy tumor. So hope you have understood this terminology, pot's puffy tumor. What is there in pot in the pot? Pus. Okay.